guys welcome and welcome back again to my channel i'm at that today we'll be talking about an important topic that doesn't really get enough attention male menopause <laughs> male menopause is a complete shutdown of reproductive capabilities and reproduction sex drive men produce more erectile dysfunction loss of sex particularly testosterone actually it in it's onset hypogonadism most of us don't know that it's real do when in bed do best the symptoms the causes possible treatments okay going into male menopause we need to grow boobs <laughs> for belly have physical and emotional symptoms obesity underlying health problems diabetes <laughs> else however else even for yourself but go to the streets to get one or two we are not conversant with it living with male menopause can also be challenging but with our men seek help emotion, contribution confusion i'm looking in the eye again if you've not subscribed to this channel please do hello everyone i'm ava if you're new to this channel thank you for coming by please do well to subscribe to our channel like our videos and share so that more people get to watch it if you're not a new subscriber and you're watching me again ah oh, you're so there okay i'll have to go now and come back later because i'm in nigeria <laughs> a few moments later hi guys you're welcome back again to my channel i am ada if you're new here thank you for coming around if you're not god bless you for checking out if you've not subscribed to this channel please do well to subscribe to our channel like our videos share comment so i'm quite aware that most of us does not know that there's a thing like male menopause it's quite different from what we know to be the female menopause but yeah it's a thing it's real and today we'll be talking about everything that has to do with male menopause the symptoms the causes possible treatments and what male menopause is entirely male menopause also known as andropause can be referred to as age-related changes in male hormone levels particularly testosterone so testosterone is a a hormone that plays a vital role in sperm reproduction sex drive bone and muscle mass fat storage red blood cells reproduction and probably more both male and female produce testosterone but men produce more so unlike the female menopause it is not male menopause is not marked by a complete shutdown of reproductive capabilities you know for the females we we, we completely stop to reproduce we stop to menstruate we stop to ovulate we stop to we can't get pregnant once you clock menopause so if that eventually happens for you it's considered a miracle unlike the male male menopause can be managed treated because we are told that males can still reproduce even in their 90s in their hundreds and i think that is why male menopause doesn't seem like a thing but it's actually a thing so there are causes or let's, let's go with symptoms first there are symptoms to this male menopause and they can be seen as erectile dysfunction loss of sex drive depression low energy anxiety insomnia when a man is not able to sleep properly can be seen as a symptom short-term memory mood swings irritability gynecomastia that's um fat distribution like where the male starts to grow boobs <laughs> grow pot belly probably other physical and emotional symptoms uh, there are causes of male menopause and there are testosterone deficiency lifestyle issues midlife crisis psychological issues obesity underlying health problems diabetes sleep deprivation poor dieting and many more but let's break it down so when we talk of especially for the lifestyle i found out that most um most causes of male menopause is embedded in your lifestyle like the lifestyle you live can cause you male menopause for example smoking a lot drinking a lot stressing yourself too much always be expressive as the male especially and then you don't share things with your partner you're depressed without even knowing you're depressed and these things tell on testosterone levels you find yourself not being sexually active like you used to 
we're not ruling out age age can also lead to male monopause because as you get older as you get older testosterone levels begins to decline or drop as you age which is a natural cause of it but this video is basically for younger men going into male menopause you may need to <laughs> somewhere else so how else however else even for yourself but primarily the cause of male menopause is a decline in testosterone levels and things that can drop these testosterone levels in male is are uh, basically the things you eat for dieting the things you put into the body primarily like most of you smoke too much you drink too much you end up not dieting properly you also do not stress because as the man of the house you're always stressed you feel the need to go out get daily bread for the family and then you forget to take care of your own self not having enough sleep can drop your testosterone levels now there are also underlying issues that could drop these testosterone levels underlying health issues can be your diabetic you're probably diabetic you know diabetes can cause it anxiety can cause obesity can cause it as well testosterone impacts man bodily functions mostly so when it drops you're likely to experience emotional and physical certain emotional and physical changes diagnosing male menopause diagnosing male menopause also known as late onset hypogonadism involves physical examinations medical history and laboratory tests so let's take it down for the physical examination a doctor will carry out a physical examination to check for any abnormalities such as breast enlargement or lack of body hair etc for medical history the doctor will ask certain questions regarding your past medical records which may be previous illnesses, surgeries, or possible medications that may be causing these symptoms. For the symptom assessment, the doctor will ask questions on severity, duration, and impact on daily life. For testosterone level tests, a blood test will be carried out to test the level of testosterone in the male body. Other tests may be ordered or carried out to rule out the conditions that may be causing these symptoms such as diabetes, high blood pressure or depression. Somehow, I think life is fairer to men because why do we have treatment plans for male menopause and none for the female? Well, let's look at their treatment options or yeah, treatment options for male menopause. So the first on my list is the TRT, the testosterone replacement therapy to correct this hormone deficiency. The second is lifestyle changes. Like I said earlier, most of the causes is embedded in your lifestyle. So if you change your lifestyle, like quitting smoking, funny enough, I've come across quite a number of men who smoke a lot. And when I try to talk to them about it and how it can affect their testosterone levels, they start to argue with me. Oh, I have a, I have a brother, I have a friend you know they smoke much they even do better than i do and yet they have babies they have girls they have boys i'm like okay system differs you know system differs so whatever is working for a is definitely not going to work for b so whatever you're doing i think you should try to manage your lifestyle properly live healthy next is proper dieting diet well as a man don't eat anything don't eat anyhow diet properly this this is a treatment plan this is not just it's, it's not like an advice or a motivational speech it is a treatment plan for test low testosterone levels and if you're kind to yourself enough you will take it very personal adequate sleep regular exercises the next is medications antidepressants will definitely be prescribed to you if you're diagnosed with male monopause then you get uh, uh i think counseling not i think counseling and therapy as well for you there are probably other treatment plans that i may not know of but your doctor will definitely be in the right position to talk to you about it after you must have been diagnosed mind you this is not a self treatment thing like you wake up and you tell yourself oh i have low testosterone so therefore i have to do this and you can just um take precautionary measures not to have it 
but do not diagnose yourself. There are people called endocrinologists, if I'm correct, they are responsible for hormone treatments or hormone diagnosis. I don't know how to put it to you, but get to the hospital if you feel as a man you're not performing right. Because I don't know why most of us go to chemists or go to go to the streets to get one or two to help you do well in bed, do better, and how you people say it, but that is not the correct thing to do. You may probably be taking in substances that your kidney cannot process or that your kidney is not okay with. So for the male, we're talking about male. I think on, on um, our next episode should be about the female, but we are more conversant with female menopause and that is why I'm stressing the male menopause because it's not a, we're not conversant with it. I think I studied, I was a medical student for quite a number of years if I even got to hear. Okay, so we know about testosterone level drops, but we probably may not know that there's something called male menopause and that's what i'm bringing to you today there's also cognitive behavioral therapy to help manage underlying issues for you example like stress and so on so you also get injections as treatment plans your doctor should know better and then topical gels as well and probably others Living with male menopause requires a holistic approach that addresses physical, emotional, and relationship aspects. Living with male menopause can also be challenging, but with healthcare professionals, you can pull through. Also for our males, please seek help. Seek professional help when you feel the need to. Our males, our men, seek help because by seeking help and making lifestyle changes, you can manage these symptoms and improve your overall well-being. So with this, guys, we've come to the end of this episode. I don't think we'll be having another episode on male menopause. So if you have any question, contribution, confusion, put them for me in the comment section. I will answer you. If this video was helpful to you as well, please like our videos, comment, and share. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Please don't watch my videos without subscribing to my channel. Please. I'm looking in the eye again. <laughs> subscribe to my channel bye-bye <laughs>